Okay, hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back after an accidental kind of hiatus. <laughs> I have filmed other videos prior to filming this, but I wanted to come on here and talk about, just say hello, do a little chit chat, get ready with me talking about like my life, where I've been before I just randomly post a July or a June shot my stash at the end of July after having not posted any videos for a while. So hello, welcome. <laughs> I am not gone. <laughs> I am back. I mentioned this I think before, but we went, my girlfriend and I went to Italy for two weeks in July um, and it was amazing and I had every intention of pre-filming and then editing and having like things going up while I was away and all that stuff but I actually ended up well number one my ring light broke like halfway through June so I couldn't film anything for like a week and a half and then I got like this weird flu cold thing um that wasn't COVID but it was like a week before we were gonna go so instead of filming and editing I was just lying on the couch <laughs> so I just didn't have any, I had some stuff, but then I was like, oh, maybe I'll edit on the plane, edit while I'm away, absolutely did not happen. So here we are. I'm sure you just miss me so much and you were just beside yourself, hoping that I would come back. But anyway, that is what I've been up to. I have lots of things I wanna chit chat about, my trip, because why not? I mean, you go to Europe, you have to talk about it. Or you go on a trip, you have to talk about it. I probably won't be talking about any of the products that I'm using, but they will be in the description box below. Um, I'm actually kind of tan, which is a miracle for me. And that's just a result of being in the beating hot sun pretty much every day for two weeks. Um not wearing a hat or anything to cover my face but you know what at least i got a little bit of a tan out of it okay pretty much across the board never come to me for anything about being responsible okay so <laughs> wear sunscreen protect your skin um all that stuff that you already know but anyway um, yeah, we went to lots of different places in Italy, and I have also lots of other life things that I want to talk about. Just give you kind of the vibe of where I'm at mentally in my life. Should I zoom in more? Probably. We'll do that. Okay. So we went to, we were gone for two weeks, like I said. We went to Sicily for the first five days. Um, we stayed like right on the beach, like literally right on the beach. It was amazing. I don't think I'd been actually in the ocean for like over 10 years. So we just had like a beach, a beachy time. I was with my family, um, with my dad and my brothers. So we just chilled, honestly, swam, read books, laid in the sun, all that stuff. It was amazing. Honestly, it was so relaxing. And then we, my girlfriend and I went on our own and we went to a whole bunch of different places, mostly in the south of Italy. So we went to um, the Amalfi Coast from there and that was, oh my God, just an absolute literal dream. Um, I posted some stuff on my Instagram if you were following me, but I will link the people that we stayed with at Airbnb down below um, if I can figure out how to do that because they were literally angels sent from heaven above. They were the sweetest people. Their house was a dream. The view was a dream. They made us breakfast in the morning even though that's definitely not an obligation of Airbnb like hosts and they were so so nice um, and it was just probably the most beautiful if not one of one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful place I've ever been in my entire life. Um, we went on a hike one day and we went into this like, uh, like I wanna say national park, but like a protected forested area and saw waterfalls and it was literally magical. I, we just loved it. Obviously it was so hot, 
I am the whitest person ever. My body was made to see a glimpse of the sun every couple days in like 10 degree weather. So heat and I don't necessarily always get along super well. I've never sweat so much in my entire life, I swear to God. So I actually pretty much haven't worn makeup for like two weeks straight at all. So I am super happy to be back and back with my makeup, back getting ready and stuff. It's just like sometimes nice when you have to take a break from something, it just makes you like appreciate it so much more. Um, anyway, not what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, it was really hot and there were obviously like tons of tourists around and whatever. Um, but we just honestly lived our best life. Um, Amalfi was definitely the, probably the most expensive place we went. It ate up all of our, our euros, but it was just so beautiful. So we just ignored all the other tourists um and I was a little bit the only like major drawback I feel like for us is that because we weren't driving to get like to the different places from where we were, where we were staying we had to take like public transport which was like super full crowded and inconsistent and in the time so we spent a lot of time waiting for buses and stuff but honestly that's just kind of the name of the game that was really our only like major gripe and then we went to Naples from there um, which was definitely a change of pace it was like I actually really enjoyed it it was like super busy and fast-paced and stuff um, and we had a really good time as well amazing pizza literally the best pizza we have ever had in Naples it was so good like honestly I feel like food like pizza pasta, wine, cheese, like mozzarella, tomatoes are like ruined for me. <laughs> um, and then we went to Rome from there and we stayed for a couple days in Rome. We like really touristed it, touristed it up there um, and saw all the sights. And I actually loved Rome more than I thought that we would because I feel like before we went we saw a lot of people like online and stuff talking about like oh Rome is like nice but it's like super hot full of like tourists like overrated but we loved it honestly like I don't know I really like the vibe of Rome I wouldn't go back for sure we didn't spend um that much time there but we just oh it was so nice to get away and it was our first major trip obviously as like most people we haven't been able to travel anywhere, like really outside of the country at even, um, for obviously like two years. So it was just like busy and nice and just like I was super unplugged from everything. I barely went online, barely went on social media. Um, and I don't even, haven't even really found like social media to be that insanely like stressful um recently but it was just like you know it's always nice to friggin go on vacation I don't have to tell I don't have to tell you that <laughs> so that is where I've been um so yeah I'll probably just after I post this video which I'm hoping will go up tomorrow which is Monday um I'll post the other videos that I have filmed like I have like July shot my stash, July, um, re, no, June shot my stash, June recaps, and I think another video filmed maybe, um, but obviously I talk about going away and stuff in those, so this will just provide a little bit more context. We're just jumping all over the place in terms of the timeline of my life, and then probably right after that, <laughs> I'll post my July shot my stash and July recap, although my July recap, I imagine, is going to be super, um, just not very content filled because I have been away, honestly, I haven't been keeping up with stuff, obviously, I haven't been buying anything really at all I haven't bought any makeup at all in July so and I haven't really worn makeup for most of July so I don't even know what 
if there's even a point in posting a July recap now that I think about it, but we'll see, we'll see. I guess there's still a week, a week left of the month. And also, <laughs> coming around to my current life existential, I really feel as though I'm having um, a quarter life, true quarter life crisis. I will not be buying any new makeup really at all because I am truly getting to the bottom of my barrel in terms of my savings so obviously maybe not obviously if you haven't been following me for the past couple months I quit my job in April and I still have not found a new one so I will have to search out Employment in any form, <laughs> I guess, is the way that you would put it. Um, I really hoped and thought that I would be able to find a job in my field, you know, a new job that I am like feel good about, and you know, just like a job in my field <laughs> that I want to do in this time. But that has not happened for me. Okay. Um, and I feel, how do I put this, crushed <laughs> about it because I just, I don't know, I just expected that I, I would. I don't know, like I found my old job that was honestly horrible within a couple months um, of my last period of unemployment, so it was like feeling relatively optimistic. I was seeing like way more job postings than I had previously and I was applying to like tons of places. I was like, oh, I'll get a job, 100%. And I have yet to find someone who wants to employ me. Um, and I'm feeling, frankly, really fucking bitter about it, okay? Because now I'm at the point where I have to or have been applying to just like essentially like service jobs. I live in Quebec and my French is not amazing. Definitely not good enough to work in a service like position where you have to like talk to people. So I've been applying to like call centers and like greenhouses for like harvesting and stuff like that. And I definitely don't, it's not that I think I'm above it by any stretch of the imagination, it's just like I have a master's degree in environmental science um, and everyone tells me or everyone who like I speak to is like, oh my god, so in demand, which technically it is, like jobs in the environmental sector, I specifically like my background is in carbon emissions like that feels like a, a job and is a job kind of category that is um expanding you know there's always like new positions within a whole bunch of different companies and stuff all the time opening up and you can hear people tell you every day it's not you it's you don't know what goes on behind the scenes in terms of hiring you know you don't know what the company is about you don't know like it, it really is not a reflection of you and you know i hear that i believe it to a certain extent um but there i have applied to probably hundreds of jobs like not an exaggeration at this point and it's starting to feel like, perhaps it could have something to do with me um, because I am applying to positions that I'm literally exactly qualified for and I don't have a ton of, like, actual like, job experience. I'm relatively new in, like, my career. I've been in school for a while, so it, it is, like, really difficult to 
break into that I find if you don't have job experience people just frankly don't want to hire you at all um, and it just makes me feel like a bag of dicks um, it's pretty much the best way I can describe it <laughs> disheartening more than anything because every interview I have I get so hopeful and I don't know what it is about these interviewers but they make me feel each time like I am going to get the position. Um, and at each time I wait for the email and it never comes. Or I get a rejection email, but mostly it's just no email. People I've realized just don't email you back <laughs> if it's not good news. Um, which is almost worse in a way because you're like kind of always holding out hope. A little bit like maybe the hiring process is taking longer um, but yeah so that's where I'm at um, not necessarily doing amazing if it's just like what did I do my master's for if this is where it has taken me and how come I'm just such a piece of shit that I can't, you know, like find anyone who wants to hire me. Um, so it just is like, you're losing confidence, you're getting so disappointed, you just feel so defeated, and I just, I don't know, I'm not feeling amazing, I have to tell you. So that's where I'm at. I was gonna say I don't want this to come off as complaining, but obviously it's complaining. Um, so, you know, if you don't want to watch this, that is completely understandable. Um, I would say messages if it gets better are welcome. Commiseration, also welcome. Um, I don't know. It's fine. It's just... If... I feel like a, so much of my early 20s was spent kind of going through a process of realizing that like the what I had like envisioned for my life and where I'd be at in different stages and like I always had like a really like a plan of what I wanted to do and it was like a lot of realizing you know that your life isn't necessarily going to go the way that you exactly plan it to and kind of just learning to you know enjoy life for what it is and not necessarily valuing yourself based on whatever goals you do or don't achieve necessarily um and I was do like I, so much of my early 20s was just like spent going through periods of like disappointment and then kind of like learning that lesson and I feel like I've gotten to a good place in terms of that and now it just feels like It's just, I turned 25 in a week, and I, to say that this is not where I thought I'd be without a job, I have less money in my bank account than I did when I was in my undergrad, um, I don't know, it's just, I just, have, I'm honestly going through it emotionally, mentally, spiritually, so... It's fine, but I just honestly am now trying to manifest any job imaginable, like anything. And then, you know, I started to feel guilty because I tech, I, like I did have a job, I quit it, but honestly, my old boss was literally the worst human being I've ever met in my life. And if you're not in it, Everyone is like, oh, you're just, you know, yeah, like, it sucks to have a bad, like, boss, blah, 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 like, that sucks, but maybe you can stick it out. But I was literally, like, I had to increase my anti-anxiety medication, which created a whole shit ton of side effects that also I could honestly go on and on about um, that impacted me and still continue to do it. And then... Literally, like, okay, I'll give you an example. 
he would literally just scream at everyone and I was like directly underneath him like managing other people so I got the brunt of it and then but it was just like he'd ask you to do something you'd do it exactly the way he did and then he would just be like essentially you're a fucking idiot I would have never asked you to do it this way I can't believe you're such a piece of piece of shit like you're so dumb essentially but like top level like just like screaming um over something that he literally explicitly asked you to do calls you a liar when you say like this is exactly how you asked me to do it it's not once in a while this is every day okay apologies my camera needed a rest so i just finished up my eyes but anyway continuing on what i was saying about my horrible boss um he would just disparage his female employees he would talk over us he would um interrupt us all the time he literally would not listen to a single thing we said we could literally be in the same conversation where our male co-workers would repeat literally the exact same thing we said and he would listen to them it was just like textbook like almost comically obvious and i did eventually confront him about it and i I think was very like respectful. I was just like, you know, I do, you know, wish to be speaking to you more respectfully, aka just don't friggin' scream at me every single day. Um, and he told me that there was, and I quote, something wrong with you and that he could speak to his employees however he wanted. He also denied me two days off of work because he said that he wanted to prove a point to show me that he could deny me time off work because he was the boss and he was allowed to like deny his employees that he when I tried to quit he threatened to contact future employers that I would have and tell them not to hire me as a way of like intimidation and that is just a few of the stories that I have and I didn't talk about it when obviously I was at that job because I mean, in general, it's never a good idea to bash the place that you're working for online <laughs> um, for a lot of reasons. But honestly, when it was happening and even after it happened, it's difficult to get people to like fully believe what you're saying without them thinking that it's not really that bad. Maybe you're exaggerating, um, you know, how bad could it really be? that kind of thing and the onus of like proving that it happened is always on the people that it happened to like thankfully it never <sighs> resulted in like any sexual harassment or anything but i can't it's just like so difficult um to like if, if a conversation happened over the phone or something you don't have it recorded it's like your word against your employers and honestly most of the time people don't believe you and I don't know I just apparently want to talk about it now because you don't deserve to be treated like literal less than a human being at your job okay especially if you're not making that much money I probably was making less at that job than I would being like a waitress um, and dealing with the shittiest or any honestly it was like pretty much minimum wage and it was I wasn't getting paid enough I was basically his personal assistant um, and it was just honestly horrible you don't deserve to be treated like shit at your job um, for just frankly doing your job anyway so that is why I quit my job <laughs> Um, without having a backup plan in terms of work in case you were wondering because I feel like lots of people it's easy to be like honestly I probably think it too like well maybe you could have just stayed at your job and that was the plan until I found a new job but I had to break down and I was just like I mentally cannot do this job anymore I cannot talk to this man he like even he like my rate my wage got raised a little bit one month and he literally was like I didn't raise your wage until like this month and I was like I literally have my pay stubs to prove like when my raise my wage was raised and he 
sorry, I thought I wasn't filming, literally just said that I was lying. So it was just like working in an alternate reality. Like we weren't, he wasn't like fully with it, I think. Anyway, context. We're really going, you know, all over the town today in terms of topic. And then because I basically had literal anxiety attacks, like many anxiety attacks every time I had to speak to him, which was every single day. Like, I don't know, I would get like really, really bad chest pain and just like cold sweat and stuff like that. So I had to raise my anxiety medication, which caused me to gain a large amount of weight in a very short amount of time. Um, and so now I just feel like really, I've talked about it before, but I just feel like not fully like at home in my body and I've had to deal with just a lot of like adjusting. I had to, I don't fit into any of like my old clothes. I pretty much don't want to wear pants anymore because I still just like don't feel comfortable really even in pants. I just have been wearing dresses. Just I want like one piece of cloth to just cover my body. Um, so it's been a lot. So I'm also dealing with that which unfortunately was the result of my job and then I basically need to find a new family doctor so I don't have a family doctor right now so I can't even really change my dose unless I go to the emergency room basically you know what I mean like a walk-in um which are not the same things I realize but you know what I mean it's like really also hard to get places and walk-ins and it's just like a whole thing anyway so this is like my life life updates with Laura I am not necessarily well and I do realize I have like so much privilege still um I'm not I definitely don't want to like deny that in any capacity but this is just like kind of where I'm at so if this helps anyone makes anyone feel more seen or I don't know revel in my misery, you know, maybe that could be helpful in some capacity. If any of these things sound like familiar or that they're happening in your life, it's also happening in mine. You're not alone. I would love to know how you all are doing though. Hopefully better than me. Um, share any victories that you have had recently in the comments so I can feel happy about something um if you're still watching because this is probably going to be like a 45 minute long get ready with me I have a lot of emotions and a lot of feelings um so I just wanted to share them all because it is Leo season so I gotta make it about me. This Tower 28 blush in the shade Magic Hour has been such a favorite. I've been using it basically as much as I humanly can. Well, I guess you could say one highlight in my life is that I actually hit pan, I wonder if you can see this, on my hourglass powder, in my hourglass powder. I never thought this day would come, truly, so, you know. It can happen to you too, okay? It's not an impossible task. I feel very conflicted right now because I want to finish the rest of my makeup on camera, but I also feel like I have been talking forever. And I don't want to make this video like so incredibly long. So I think I might just finish the rest of my makeup off camera. I don't have that much more to do. I just have to finish my base and stuff. Um, you have seen most of the process so I might just finish my makeup and then just be back to conclude this video. I think I've said everything that I planned on saying and more so I'm gonna do that and then be back to show you the finished look. Okay and this is the finished look. It's so nice, I have to say, to be able to like play with my makeup again. I missed it so much. I miss getting glam. I missed just 
using my using my shit. So on my lips, I have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Granny Panties. Um, and that's it. <laughs> Just one lipstick. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, truly, I appreciate you so much. Um, I had a lot of thoughts. I had a lot of feelings today. Um, just giving you a general update of where I am, where I've been, where I am, maybe where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this video was helpful. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it made you feel better about your own life. Who knows? Um, I will hopefully be back to posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, fingers crossed, or at least three videos a week again. You know, we really hope to see it. And I would love to see you in my next video. Bye.